So the first thing we want to do when we get to an electrical panel is make sure there's very good access. That's both in the front and on the sides because your inspector is going to want to remove this whole dead front cover and they want to remove the screws and such and then make sure this dead front cover is not painted and sealed to the wall as you can tell this one isn't. And then next you want to look to see if it's a known defective electrical panel. There's a couple electrical panels that are known defective which is Sylvania, Zinsco, and Federal Pacific. And uh, you can see this one is actually a Homeline brand which is a non-known defective electrical panel. And then next we're looking to see if there's any breakers that are tripped and you can see none are tripped here. If they're tripped this breaker here would be in the middle. That means that that's a, there's a trip breaker. And then look to see if there's AFCIs or GFCI type breakers. Those are the basically the push button breakers and see if those uh, have been tripped and if they haven't been tripped to trip them and see if they actually do what they're designed to do which is trip. And then second is to make sure there's no openings inside the electrical panel, meaning you can't stick your finger inside the electrical panel, a child can't, things of that nature. These are called twist outs right here, and those are the entry points for people putting things in. What a, an inspector is going to do is going to remove this full cover and inspect the wires and the interior components of the electrical panel. We're not going to be doing that because it's a, it's a pretty big safety hazard if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So that pretty much completes our electrical panel inspection. Now we're going to go to another part of the home.